But here we are again, and well, we it meant to be a bit of a mess, haven't we? Uh, let's start on the um, uh, the, the Russian issue. I admit, I will admit this clearly. It wasn't the Russians that did have the attack. It, it was us. It was. I think it was the British, the British state, is it? Why? Because let's look at the rhetoric between the Tories for the last few years, especially the Defence Secretary on Twitter, they're saying how we're going to bomb the carriers, up, how good is our military going to do the Russians, even though it's you know, out of record low, with our military spending. Also, we need to look at the fact that the bombs Russian made. I, I could buy a American gun and shoot someone. Was it me or was it the Americans? So that, that's something. And the person who invented that nerve engine, I forgot to pronounce it. I don't to pronounce it, I'm not saying it, but he lives in America. So I've put, I've put that out, out there and it's been made throughout the world, basically. There's another thing, there's a chemical weapon factory that's out of Salisbury. So I've acted today because it's gone in there and did it themselves. I'll point that out as well and find out. I was also looking at why um, we're so well anti Russian. Because the reason, I, I, I'm not endorsing Putin anyway, but the reason why we're interested in, well, not to say war, but proxy war is more like, because that's what Syria is proxy war between the West and Russia and Iran. And it's over basically oil. We indexed it in, indirectly, it, it did the rise of ISIS through the Iraq war and for the various rebel groups that joined them. And we still oppose Assad, which is the one stopping them. And let's forget it was Putin, the Russians, who did more, more than anyone else to stop these well, maniacs but, as well. And let's go through one of this. Because I don't know what we're going to do throughout the World Cup, uh, sanctions, what are we seriously going to do to them? So I think it's just a war of words, basically. I mean, it's a shame what happened. I know it's quite horrible for accusing the British, well, a faction in the British intelligence for doing this. Well, it's, it's most likely is. Uh, I'll, and I'll put the link about the chemicals weapons testing facility that's outside Salisbury on there as well. There's one more thing. Um, everyone calls it a Russian spy, but we all, we all forget that we actually work for MI6. And that's something we, um, we need to remember. And also, he actually, now they say it's lucky that he got poisoned in his own home, which suggests. Uh, who did it got access to his own home, which makes it more interesting. Also, I, I saw some information about his daughter, who also was a victim of this attack. And she regularly, regularly without restriction, travelled between Russia and the UK. And the father, well, if the Russian wanted to kill her father, um, they would have done it. He was in a Russian jail for 13 years before a prisoner exchange. If wants to kill him, why didn't he do it then? It looks ridiculous, basically. And I don't actually buy it. Who knows? I wish we could have done it, not under the guise of the Russian government. Well, who knows who did it? But I seriously doubt the Russian government did it. Especially since they're going through an election. But, you know what? <laughs> Nothing's going to stop Putin from winning that, to be honest. And there's one thing, um, there was a speech, well, a spring statement, so to say, from our millionaire chancellor, the one who owned Hammond, and he expected, <laughs> um, basically to talk about what everyone expected him to talk about, uh, about, basically it was predictable, anyone could predict it, a little bit about the, um, the, What's it, like? What's it calling now? The, the debt. A little bit about the reduction. A bit about the debt, basically. And 
they're saying they're going to reduce, they're going to borrow a bit less than they expected to. And their air growth is slightly better, but basically, I don't know what they said in November. There's nothing really interesting from that, it's just what you expect. Uh, but yeah, it's not, not, it's not really the first drink, even though it, it hinted that it will, if their camera crews is approved. Basically, it's doing fuck all about the hills of the site. Ooh, I mean, this is more of a bastard than anything. You know, he's enjoying his puffy lifestyle as a chancellor. Well, 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 that's about it. Um, I might do it again soon. Bye.